Bethel Police Department has more than tripled the number of traffic tickets written by officers during the last year, and that has boosted village revenue. Those are just some of the findings of WCPO 99 team investigation of the department and its police chief. Last night, the I team revealed Bethel Police Chief Chad Essert had been fired or reassigned, reassigned under threat of termination from three previous policing jobs. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Craig Cheatham examines Bethel's push on writing tickets. The Village of Bethel Police Department has made traffic enforcement a top priority. Uh, we're going to be out uh, in full force. Bethel Police Chief Chad Essert made that promise in January 2022 during a Village Council Safety Committee meeting. That was less than three months after he became police chief. Essert said officers were evaluated on a point system. Right now, our, our big focus is traffic safety. So uh, for the, at least the first quarter, we're putting uh, a, lot of, a lot more points into traffic citations. So. Bethel Police Department records show as recently as the last quarter of 2022, officers were expected to earn an average of four points per shift. They received three points for writing a traffic ticket, one point for writing a warning, and one point for arresting someone who had a warrant. They kind of know where, where we need to be. And the department's 2022 annual report shows in Essert's first full year as police chief, village officers more than tripled the number of tickets and warnings given to motorists. And that nearly tripled Bethel's share of mayor's court revenue from $51,000 in 2021 to $131,000 in 2022. It's policing designed to generate revenue for the government. Christine Cole is a former executive director of Harvard's program in criminal justice policy and management. It may be that the, the town leaders believe that that's the best way to use their police department. That's certainly inconsistent with best practices across the country. In a statement, village officials wrote that the council has been focused on the safety of vehicles on our roads and has conveyed this concern to the chief of police. The chief has taken steps to address these safety concerns, which has resulted in an increase in speed citations. According to that statement, about two-thirds of the traffic tickets were speed-related, and the overwhelming majority of speeding tickets were for going more than 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. Bethel officers also received three points on their evaluation for writing misdemeanor citations, Call your first witness. like the one Teddy McCown got for being in a public park after hours. After nearly 20 minutes of presenting evidence and hearing testimony in mayor's court. But I was in there for less than no, one no, 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 you got to be quiet because I, I gave you the opportunity and I got to listen to me. You're charging me. Okay, you're, you've are you got to be quiet or you're going to go to jail right now. Of course. McCown was still upset that he had been detained and charged with misdemeanor criminal trespassing instead of simply being told to leave. I'm not a criminal. Sir. Okay, no. I'm going to give you 10 days in jail. Please don't. I, I apologize. I didn't. Made off today. Uh, the sentence disappears, all right? And how much? Right after the hearing, McCown said he wrote a check for $341 to mayor's court to cover the $250 fine and court costs. Still unfortunate that I'm being charged with something so, I don't know, ignorant. Bethel police are handing out even more tickets this year. Three weeks ago, Chief Essert emailed Bethel Mayor Jay Noble and Village Administrator Travis Dotson a spreadsheet for the last eight years, showing that in January and February 2023, Bethel police were on a record pace for writing tickets and generating revenue for mayor's court. The mayor's response? Awesome. You can see records showing more details on Bethel's policing priorities and Chief Essert's previous work history as an officer, including investigation reports documenting his alleged violations of department policy. The Village Council is scheduled to hold their next public meeting tomorrow night, and the I-Team will be there.